Today, I'm going to be discussing connective tissue and collagen. These are terms that you will often hear discussed when people are talking about the Ehlers-Danlos syndromes and hypermobility spectrum disorders. Hi, I'm Dr. Clara Francomano, and I'm a medical geneticist who has cared for people with the Ehlers-Danlos syndromes and hypermobility spectrum disorders for many, many years. So what is connective tissue anyway? Connective tissue is described or defined as the tissue that supports, protects, and gives structure to other tissues and organs in the body. And there are many different types of connective tissue, but what they have in common is that that there are very few cells in the connective tissue, and they mostly are composed of what we call the extracellular matrix, which is the material that sits outside those cells. And there are fibers of collagen and elastic fibers and these molecules called proteoglycans that make up the extracellular matrix. The connective tissue includes things like tendons, ligaments, dura that protects the central nervous system, the brain and the spinal cord, bone and cartilage are types of connective tissue, and the fascia, which is the material that literally connects the whole body to one part of the body to the other, is also made of connective tissue. The Ehlers-Danlos syndromes are among the conditions that we call the hereditary disorders of connective tissue because these are the genetically defined disorders of the connective tissue. And we make the distinction between the hereditary disorders of connective tissue and the acquired disorders of connective tissue, which are typically autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis and systemic lupus erythema thematosis, for example. Now, collagen is the major protein of the connective tissue, and most of the Ehlers-Danlos syndromes are caused either by disorders of collagen or processing enzymes that are involved in the metabolism of collagen or affect the structure of collagen to one degree or another. And there are many different types of collagen. The fibrillar collagen are the ones that are most prominently known to be affected in the Ehlers-Danlos syndromes. And those fibrillar collagens are triple helical molecules. They have three chains wrapped up in the helix, and the helices are arranged in a very typical pattern that you can see in electron microscopy that gives the structure and flexibility to the connective tissue. So collagen type 5 is known to be underlie the classical type of Ehlers-Danlos syndrome variants, pathogenic variants in the type 5 collagen genes cause the classical type of of EDS, and pathogenic variants in type 3 collagen cause the vascular type of Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. So this is a brief summary of connective tissue and collagen. Thank you so much for your attention today, and I wish you the very best on your journey.